Okay, now it's for part 2. In this video, I'm going to show a tutorial on how to use Discord for online learning and I'm going to be the student. If you haven't watched the video for teachers, you can watch it on the link provided in the description. So let's start. First, you have to download the app. It's free. And don't forget to register for the account. Open it. And here's the interface of Discord in Android device. When the class starts, you will receive a link or code from your teacher to join the server. You can use the link or type down the code here. Join server. Accept invite. And you will enter the server. Then you have to press on the general voice channel here. join voice all set then the teacher and students can start the discussion but i recommend for students to turn off your microphone by pressing this icon it will appear a red cross here indicating that your microphone is being mute it is done to minimize noises in the voice chat since there will be lots of students and if you want to ask questions you can just press again the icon you can also choose to listen to the audio from your speakerphone or wired headset by pressing on this icon, speaker or wired headset, but it's better wired headset. Next, when your teacher shares a screen, you can join the live stream here and join stream. But I recommend teachers share files for the material in order to stabilize the connection during the discussion. So you can just download the files shared by your teacher. Here, your teacher has just shared a file, download it, and you can see the material while listening to your teacher's explanation. Then if you want to ask questions, you don't have to go back to the app. Discord also works overlay. Just scroll down on your status bar here and press unmute. Just like you turned off your microphone and turned it on again. So that's it. It's pretty simple and of course it will not consume lots of internet data. But for students, if you have to do it for delivering a presentation, you'll have to use a laptop. And you can follow the tutorial I created for teachers. So that's all for part 2 of tutorial on how to use Discord for online learning. Don't forget if you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the command below. Thank you and see you next time.